This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, what are the factors of 2x squared plus xy minus 6y squared? So again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, I'd strongly encourage you to get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. Now, truth be told, this is considered a more advanced problem that can show up on the ASVAB and PyCat. So if you see something like this, chances are you're doing pretty well on the test. In order to factor this expression, we're going to use what's called the AC method. That is to say, this is A, B is right here, and technically there's a 1 right here, and C is right here. The AC method says take A, multiply it by C. 2 times negative 6 is going to be negative 12. Identify B. Again, B is right here. It's positive 1. And what we're looking for is two numbers that multiply to negative 12 in this case, but add to positive 1. So that's going to be positive 4 and negative 3. Uh, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 4 plus negative 3 is positive 1. We're going to take these two numbers and rewrite this middle term such that we can factor this by grouping. So let's go ahead and do that. This becomes 2x squared plus 4xy minus 3xy minus 6y squared. So as you can see, I just rewrote that middle term with 4 and negative 3 respectively. Now let's factor this by grouping. It's pretty simple. We're going to imagine that this uh, expression is split in half. So I'm going to try to factor something from 2x squared plus 4xy. And I can factor out a 2x. That leaves me with x plus 2y in parentheses. Now I'm going to try to factor something from negative 3xy minus 6y squared such that I get x plus 2y in parentheses. So I'm going to factor out a negative 3y. This becomes x plus 2y in parentheses. All right, so we're almost done. Let's go ahead and finish this factoring. Uh, now that we've factored that out, we're going to combine these into one term. This is going to become 2x minus 3y. And then we're just going to bring down one of these terms that repeats, notably x plus 2y. And that is how you factor by grouping. The answer to this one is 2x minus 3y times x plus 2y, which as you can see is answer choice C. Now, instead of factoring by grouping, uh, you could have also multiplied all these answer choices out until you got the right answer. But as you can imagine, that's pretty time consuming. And once you learn how to factor using the AC method, as well as factoring by grouping, uh, these problems take you uh, less than a minute.